Now let's get started with our next question. The question says a person has to pay 20% tax on first 4500 earned for the amount earned between 4500 and 7500 the tax is 40%. If he paid 23.33% of income as tax what is his total income right. Now before solving this question try to solve this on your own then you saw you watch the video for the solution right. Now looking at the question what you can think of right so whenever you are reading a question you should actually uh, when you practiced enough then you will automatically get certain uh, brilliant ideas right now when you are reading the question what you can see here a person has to pay 20 percent tax what did i say whenever you are having percentages or averages they are nothing but percentage is also like an average right uh, i told you average is nothing but wherever you have word called per so here 20 percent means 20 per 100 okay now 20 percent tax means what is the tax tax is always calculated on the income so if your income is 100 your tax will be 20 percent on top of 100 right so tax is always tax percent is always tax per income right now see here a person has to pay 20 percent tax on first 4500 rupees earned then for the amount earned between 4500 and 7500 the tax is 30 percent now you have 20 percent tax here you have 30 percent tax here for certain income you have 20 percent tax for certain income you have 30 percent tax now what happened when you're clubbing both of them he is saying that the total tax he paid is 23.33 percent right from the question itself you can clearly understand that this is a question of mixture and delegations right that will be the easiest way to solve otherwise you can solve using x also variables also not an issue but then it is a mere waste of time right you can solve this question orally itself now 20 percent 30 percent 23.33 percent directly do mixtures see here 20 percent 30 percent 23.33 is nothing but 23 1 by 3 i'll tell you this whenever how to convert percentage to fraction fraction to percentage that will be very much useful uh, in your entire uh, quantitative section so that i will cover in the next coming lectures now what is the 20 percent 20 percent is a tax on top of certain amount i told you this is an average this is an average when we mix two averages we get a third average average is always on top of some reference value right what is the reference value here we have always here we get the averages here and here you will get the weights what is the weight here tax percentage is the average what is tax percentage tax percentage is nothing but tax on top of income so this is the bar is nothing but per whatever there below per that will be the weight so this will be the weight here and this whole thing will be the average here now you understood right where to write average where to write weights now 20 percent means what will be the weight here it will be 4500 that's it okay 4500 now for this 30 percent this is earned on top of certain income that we don't know that is a range given here okay between 4500 and 7500 so let it be x this is what you need to find because you don't know the exact amount on top of which you are uh, taxed 30 percent it is given as a range that's it right now see this let me erase all these things okay now what you can do is when you see two things mixing this minus this you will get something this minus this you get something now you take this one 20 and 23 1 by 3 so the difference will be 23 1 by 3 minus 20 uh, it will be uh, 3 1 by 3 3 1 by 3 right 23 1 by 3 minus 20 will be 3 1 by 3 similarly 30 minus 23 1 by 3 I will tell you a shortcut here see this when you are doing 30 minus 23 1 by 3 don't struggle while calculating this part what you can simply do is just increase this by one value okay just increase 23 by 1 what it will become 24 so 30 minus 24 it will be 6 now here you increased 1 right so here also you increase 1 it will be 2 by 3 so 6 2 by 3 will be your answer so the normal way of solving this is like 30 minus 23 1 by 3 i'm showing the actual way to solve this this one will be 23 plus 1 by 3 correct so this will be 30 minus 23 minus 1 by 3 so 30 minus uh, 23 it will be 7 minus 1 by 3 what is 7 minus 1 by 3 7 minus 1 by 3 so that will be 21 uh, 20 by 3 what is 20 by 3 6 2 by 3 
that's what we got here right so instead of doing all these things i told you a simple method so whenever sub you are subtracting uh, mul uh, mixed fractions right this step will be very much useful when you are subtracting uh, a bigger uh, mixed fraction from a bigger number right bigger uh, integral value then you can use this shortcut what you can do is this uh, mixed fraction wherever integral part is the integral part of that mixed fraction increase it by 1 simply subtract it and then the uh, fractional part you make it plus 1 okay a yeah, numerator should be increased by plus 1 it will be 2 by 3 that's it simple the purpose of doing this is simple again what you can do is 30 minus uh, it is 23 1 by 3 right this is what you are doing so what you can do is 30 minus what I am asking here is you can write it as 24 minus 2 by 3 that's what we are actually doing here so it will be 30 minus this one 6 plus 2 by 3 you are getting 6 2 by 3 right this uh, 23 1 by 3 is nothing but 24 minus 2 by 3 you can write it in this way right now see this so let us erase this all these things you understood how to easily subtract uh, uh, mixed fraction from a integral value right now so what you can do is 30 minus 23 1 by 3 means you have to subtract 24 don't subtract 23 so 30 minus 24 is 6 then again 1 by 3 is there increment numerator by 1 it will be 2 by 3 that's it here it will be uh, 6 uh, 3 1 by 3 and 6 2 by 3 so what will be the uh, ratio here I always told you the weights will be taken in terms of ratio so it will be um, here 1 by 3 correct everything is fine now 6 3 18 20 by 3 here it will be uh, 9 10 by 3 3 3 cancel 20 this cancel it will be 2 is to 1 that's it 2 is to 1 so you are gi already given this value 2 2 value is given as what is this 4500 2 value is given as 4500 that's what given in the question right 4500 since 2 value is given as 4500 1 value will become uh, 2 to the 4 and uh, I think 2 to the 4 and 2 to the 4 2 5 is this 2 to 5 0 that's it one value will become 2 to 5 0 so the value of x is nothing but 2 to 5 0 now your question is what is the total income total income is simple it will be 4500 plus what is this income here 2 to 5 0 so it will be so it will be 5 7 6 6 7 5 0 is your answer that's it easy right so the question may look confusing initially but then once you read the question once you understand the concept of mixture and delegations averages percentages once you very much thorough with these concepts you will easily able to identify the concept hidden in the question right so let's solve our next question